submission, in submission after submission, a testimony after testimony, the committee received first-hand accounts of what, best, what can at best be described as unprofessional conduct and, at worst, criminal behaviour worthy of serious investigation by Commonwealth authorities. And this was particularly with reference to the takeover of Bank West. If there was something I could do, don't you think I would do it? You know me, I would like to help you out. I hope so. Sonny, tell him what we talked about. You think it's all right? Yeah, come on. What? Well, you know, look, I, maybe you could come in with me, you know, take a piece of this fucking joint, it'd be good. What are you talking about? What do you mean, the restaurant? Yeah, I mean, it's a classy place. I mean, look at the layout. When you've been in there a million times, you know what it looks like. Uh, I'm begging you, what can I say? I, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What do you want from me? Oh, yeah. I don't know what. I don't know nothing about the restaurant business. Nothing. All I know is to sit down and order a meal. I don't know how to make a restaurant. No, uh, not for you. It's just a place to hang. You know, I mean, the chef is great. You got to, the fucking shows are good. There's a lot of who is coming in here all the time. I like to help you out. Look, what, what do you want from me? What am I going to do? You understand? You want me to be your partner? Yeah. That's what you're trying to tell me. You want me to be your partner? Yeah, what the fuck you think I'm talking about, Paulie? Please, come on. It's not even fair. No? You don't understand. The joint is over. Oh, you run the joint. Maybe I'll, I'll try to help you, all right? God bless you, Paulie. Okay. I appreciate it. God bless you. Always been fair with me. All right. Now the guy's got Paulie as a partner. Any problems, he goes to Paulie. Trouble with the bill, he can go to Paulie. Trouble with the cops, deliveries, Tommy, he can call Paulie. But now the guy's got to come up with Paulie's money every week, no matter what. Business bad? Fuck you, pay me. Oh, you had a fire? Fuck you, pay me. Place got hit by lightning, huh? Fuck you, pay me. Also, Paulie could do anything, especially run up bills on the joint's credit. And why not? Nobody's gonna pay for it anyway. And as soon as the deliveries are made in the front door, you move the stuff out the back and sell it at a discount. You take a $200 case of booze and you sell it for $100. Doesn't matter, it's all profit. And then finally, when there's nothing left, Fucking shame. when you can't borrow another buck from the bank or buy another case of booze, you bust the joint out. You light a match. You look like you're decorating a Christmas tree, you fucking prick. You don't know what you're On the 31st of March, Bankwest advised us if they didn't get all their money back, by the 31st of May, it would get ugly. Bankwest appointed Taylor Woodings as receiver managers. They charge us up to $525 an hour, and they have three or four accountants now running my business. Taylor Woodings refused to tell me what was going on anyway. All our profits were taken. Our staff were in tears, scared and terrible. These are licensed thieves hijacking a good cash flow business. My wage at that stage was about $87,000 a year. We found out afterwards that Taylor Whittings had been charging us to do what I did, $110,000 a month. A few weeks ago, I sent a letter to Taylor Whittings saying I'm going to appear before the Senate committee. Could they respond to this? I got an email, which I'll bring up later, at 4.35 yesterday afternoon, threatening, with action, threatening me with action if I submit this document. If you what? If I discuss this document. In this here today? Yes. Mr Deputy President, um, huge concerns about Bankwest when the Commonwealth Bank took over Bankwest. Uh, lots of arguments saying that Bankwest had a clawback system. It was in their interest to impair loans so that HBOS, Halifax uh, Bank of Scotland, uh, that uh, fell over in, in the UK, would have to uh, reimburse basically the Commonwealth Bank for the price they paid for the 
for Bankwest. Whereas uh, Commonwealth Bank and Bankwest said this is not the case, I suggest that um, ASIC look through the whole transactions and see that the uh, corporation's law has been abided to by all the way through that transaction. Don't mistake me for saying the banks are dummies. They're not. They're the smartest people on the continent and they're crooks. That's what I'm saying. And you proved me wrong, I'll be delighted. I didn't choose this fight. Yet I was not given a choice. I had to fight the bank's vast resources with might, with next to nothing. There is no end to their relentless pursuit of me. What I struggle to make sense of every day is how the bank that stopped funding me because it went to the war can somehow turn the tables to paint me as a bad guy.